before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment adrenaline down below, man. This is going to become apparent why I'm saying this in a second, man. Look, that's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, I'm going to make sure somebody... Oh, so first thing in the morning, we're going to do the drawing and we're going to give away a $50 gift card. That video that I put up earlier today... It still got a chance to get to a thousand likes. If that gets to a thousand likes, we're gonna double up and we're gonna give it. We're gonna give away two fifty dollar. Uh, it's either gonna be in VC cash app. If you don't got two K, I buy you the game or two K, whatever it is, man. So make sure you go go back, comment on that video, comment on all the videos on the week, cause I'm gonna choose a random video. And like I said, if we can get this video, last the video from this morning to a thousand likes, we're gonna give away. Two fifty dollar gift cards, or uh, fifty dollars in cash shop, or whatever, in the morning. And also at the end of the month, if we can continue to average very near ten k views, we're gonna give away a next gen console, man. Or when we get to a hundred thousand, we're gonna give away a next gen console. Just make sure y'all just whatever you do, like the video, comment down below, and make sure y'all do that, man. And now that we got all that out of the way, good, <laughs> bro. I understand what y'all saying, man. I'm looking at this thing right here. I, 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 I don't know, bro, bro. Hey, it is what it is, man. All I can do is, I, I can't have an opinion. All I can do is talk about the news and talk about what everybody's talking about. But I know people talking about the adrenaline and stuff like that. It's not just the adrenaline, though. It's like any, I don't know if it was like this before, bro. Even just change, any change of direction. It's not just the adrenaline. Any change of direction that you see, I'm, I'm not, I'm not pushing right trigger. Any change of direction causes you to lose adrenaline. I'm not adrenaline, but uh, it causes you to to lose stamina. That's number one. I don't think it was like that before, but I did notice that in my my career game, yo, my dude was tired as heck. And I'm not. All I'm doing is this is this is the only thing I'm doing. Watch this. The only thing I'm doing is just left sticking. And I'm almost out of I'm almost out of stamina. I don't know if it was like that before or not, or at least the penalty wasn't that severe. So y'all let me know about that. Now also, you can still do your attacking size ups. And you can still do all the, you know, you can still do your attacking size ups and your hop backs and all of that good stuff. But like they said, as soon as you as soon as your momentum or as soon as you hit right trigger and go in a direction, that's it. Even if I just do this right here and, and don't go. As soon as I, as soon as he turns to go, it's a wrap. The, the the adrenaline is gone. So I wanted to kind of break that down for y'all first and kind of let y'all know what's going on. I, I'm not no spam dribbler, nothing, man. The only thing that I would do would be just be something like this. I would do this, step back, and then I would probably go. But my guy's also significantly slower than he was also. So like I'm just I'm just putting that out there. Um, you know what's going on. I know a lot of people were, you know, they they're not understanding what's happening and they might not totally uh totally know and there's a lot of misinformation out there too man so i just want to let y'all know i don't think that it was like this but like we said uh, uh momentum that definitely took a lot uh hold up let me see the momentum oh because I, I do the momentum a different way um i don't i well not momentum i don't i don't hit uh right trigger because my dude don't do nothing but if you do it yeah, it's definitely gone, but you can still do it without doing it too. So, but as soon as you hit that right trigger, you better be ready to get up out of that move or do whatever, because if you don't, you know, it is what it is. And I think that's why a lot of people have been saying today, like, like, dang, man, my shot is early or this or that, because bro, the stamina penalties, uh, yeah, see, the stamina penalties are crazy. Like, watch me just run get the ball. I'm gonna run get the ball. And, uh, you see what I'm saying? My Gatorade gone. And then by the time I take the shot, you know, it could be slow. It could be this. It could be that. In my career, I ain't gonna lie. I was early all day today. So, so you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I just wanted to get that part out there and let y'all know that any change of direction with the ball is taking stamina and any movement in any direction, uh, you know, on offense, when you press the right trigger, that's taking you down, man. So, so now that we got that part out of the way and we know all about that, let's see what the community talking about. <laughs> <laughs> with this thing, man. I don't think it's a single person out there that, that's fucking with it, but you know, we're gonna see what's going on, man. Hey, look, I, look, I ain't got no opinion. We just gonna go straight to it. That boy Stacks, that boy Stacks said, how, how that season, <laughs> how that new season is looking. I ain't lie. Hey, bro, the first thing he said, the first thing they said right off the bat is, uh, hey, dude came through it. He just says, Dribbling is definitely bad and a lot different, but it's definitely manageable. Everyone complaining about the momentum uh, using an, ad an adrenaline 
but they fail to realize you don't have to uh, use the right trigger to momentum this year. And, uh, you know, he said what they do to dribbling. dribbling. He said literally it's just adrenaline bars going that are uh, going 10 times faster, bro. So all these momentum sp sp spamming and the, R2 <laughs> and the R2 speed boost, boost is, is mad because they don't have enough after two momentums. The way we dribble, you would you would you should be fine. We don't touch right trigger uh too much. So like I said, bro, you can do all your size ups and all that good stuff, bro. You don't even gotta worry about it. You can do your um your right trigger size up, your attacking size ups and all of that. But I think my biggest issue is like when you make those very small movements, even if you didn't mean to go in that direction, that bar is gone, man. So I don't know how how the community gonna react to it, but we're gonna find out. Hey, that boy TJ Kaze the lock said, if you're trying to be a professional at this game, even if 2K makes the game worse, uh makes the worst game known to man, you have to be professional and be the best you can be at the game. And uh <laughs> No, he's just crying. And he says, you're going to keep playing it regardless. So that's what Kaze said. But Kaze a lot, man. So, you know, I'm going to call a spade a spade. Kaze a lot. He probably like, yes, motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> you bitch can't dribble no more. <laughs> That's probably what he's saying, man. Hey, look, man. I'm totally neutral. I'll keep everything neutral. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to smoke a leaf, man. Hey, look. It is what it is, man. Y'all know that reference. Put OT down in the comment section, man. That boy Lego Man says y'all get out here and bitch uh, about it before you even try it yourself. It's every single time, every single patch too, and I can't get mad at that, man. That's a good. That's a good way to look at it, man. I mean, I get what he's saying. But at the same time, you got a lot of people that have tried it out today. Me and Brute was trying, bro. I was in my career struggling and I ain't gonna cap to you. But I was out there joint like, yo, the days really slow. My guy all the way down, like I don't know what's going on. And I didn't understand what was going on until I came in here and I started dribbling this stuff. And I was like, bro, they just secretly patched this joint, bro. But I noticed it right off the bat, but I couldn't quite put my finger on what's going on. Y'all know how that is. Like, you know something different, but I just don't know exactly what it is that's different so you know it is what it is that boy cool yard man my guy my boy he said a patch doesn't affect my dribble style but losing adrenaline bars for momentum should definitely be reverted now like i said bro i feel like this is something that was hot patch hot fixed here because we played the game all night and it wasn't and it wasn't like this and so it was hot fixed in so i'm feeling like it could be hot fixed out so it could be something that you know they're gonna make us rock with this for a couple of days see how the community adjusts or doesn't adjust and then you know uh then we're gonna see we're gonna see what they do man so i'm, I'm pretty sure this, this is something that's probably gonna get reverted because like i said we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it at the end of the video man he said i don't care I don't care. Touching adrenaline before touching steals is crazy to me. Now I ain't got a lot of y'all. I don't think they need to do nothing at all with steals. I'm just gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think they need to do nothing at all with steals. I don't think there was nothing to be touched with steals um, unless they just toned down some of the unrealistic launches and stuff like that. But I, don't, I really don't care about that. The only one, the only steals that I don't want them to touch, they can take away all the on ball steals and all the stuff. But when the dude is tired and he's sitting there like, huh, huh, huh. I feel like I should have been able to steal the ball then if I if I got minutes popped and he's dog ass tired. Yeah, I think I should be able to take the ball there. And then at the same time, I think that uh on the double teams, if you get blitzed and you continue to try to dribble through that double team, we should have a good opportunity to take that rock away. So, you know, I mean, you know, take the rock away. Now lean back. Lean back. Hey, that's all I say, man. But y'all know how I go, man. That boy Solo DM said you shouldn't lose it. You shouldn't lose adrenaline boost running to get the ball on an inbound in NBA 2K23. Even if adrenaline boosts are somewhat realistic to show players run, run, I mean, show players run low stamina uh, in real games. What 99 overall player is losing a third of his stamina from running to get an inbound, inbound pass, man? Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Hey, I, I tend to agree with that, man. Maybe, maybe you, you know, you can do something. They can give you two free ones before you get it, get in and all that. I, I don't know what they can do with it, man. That boy said, N say adapt, then take 11 dunks again. <laughs> A game you can't make this up. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. I mean, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know. Are y'all are y'all rocking with it or not, man? I don't know, man. I'm just, I, I'm just going about what the community talking about, man. That boy, the OG Grandmaster says, say this is my this is my home one right here, man. He says 2K gameplay would be 30% better without adrenaline, and he says 100% better uh, without stamina 
and adrenaline. And then he says 500% more realistic if that happened, bro. Hey, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all y'all agree with the OG Grandmaster Sensei or do he just want to spam that thing, man? You know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm gonna play the game either way. I did not like how the game was last year when people just zigzagged and they didn't have to think at all. All they had to do was just sprint right, sprint left until you overcompensated and then they run back the other way and fade. And I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna tell y'all whose fault all this is. This was all the people that was like, this is how you can dribble without using using adrenaline. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. This is how you circumvent the system. And then bam, they say, gotcha, bitch. You ain't, you ain't, y'all ain't circumventing shit. But you know, it is what it is, man. Like we said, we always overcorrect in the 2K community. And then, you know, stuff happens, <laughs> man. He says, Hey, the tape says, you lose an adrenaline bar every time you momentum now. And then the, uh, the boy Dios, you know, he out here showing you that you can actually momentum. You can really momentum your ass off if you do it the other way. You know, pretty much what I was telling y'all how to do it, how to momentum uh, after the patch. But you're not fooling anybody with this one. You can't combo out of this one, so nobody really cares um, about what he's saying on this one. I mean, it's cool, and you can you can look good, and you can try to go against the grain and all that good stuff. But you're 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 not really doing. With that move, bro. Let's go. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. This is what I gotta do. I'm charged with keeping it a buck. I got to do this, man. But you know, hey, what Lego fan says on that note, y'all can stop being dramatic like you desperately use momentum in the first place. <laughs> hey, people didn't even really use it. Um, uh, People didn't really even use it like that, man. But my boy, OG Grandmaster Sensei said, like I said, I, I completely rock with him on this one. He says, it's a move chainer that made other moves a lot easier and a lot and smoother to do. Without the without R2, if you, if you mess up because of latency or something, you can get stripped. You can get stripped now. Uh, way easier. No, nobody faking this outrage, and I agree with him on that. I don't think that this is faked outrage or any of that stuff, man. I just think that I just think that it's one of them things where I really feel like this is the this is the game that everybody went down to the play in the first place. Like when Shake and Paul West and all them went in the very first one, and then uh, we all we we already know that this is how it was meant to be. Because Zar was saying, anytime you press that right trigger, you're supposed to be losing. You're supposed to lose some adrenaline or whatever, and that's how it was supposed to be. But the game launched in a different way. And um, I think that the way that the game launched is how they meant for it to be. But since this is patch 2.0 and it says 2.0, instead of like 1.9 and all those other patches that we had, I think that I think that it just reverted back to how it was in the beginning and, and uh, pre-launch. And uh, this is something that they can change, right? Uh, that they can change. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. It, I mean, I think, it, I, think, I think everybody in the community agrees that it probably need to go back. But we're going to see how it go, man. Solo, uh, Solo DL, I mean, Solo says, seems like adrenaline is nerfed. In two in season uh in this season of 2K23 and everybody like you know I mean yeah they, they really think that they made dribbling and adrenaline boost worse and slowed down everybody's player. Hey, I ain't gonna lie about that. Like I told y'all, man, my player does seem significantly slower. Um, and that 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 speed gap is one of those things we kept telling y'all, bro. Don't believe that speed gap because even if it is true, it's gonna get changed, bro. Y'all. Y'all keep looking at it, and now look, look at, hey, look where we at. Now look at the state of the game. I'm telling y'all, man. A hey, dude says, hey, we really, <laughs> we really playing three dribbles. Kings on the court. I already. <laughs> It's okay, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. This how it is. And last but not least, that boy Kai. Uh, I might agree with Kyle. This one, he says, y'all really defend this game as uh, as they kill it and keep killing it, and they uh, and they think they're doing the right thing. This is not realism, fellas. The game is already dead. It's actually not dead at all. Uh, that's that's your opinion. That's it is what it is. Uh, if this game is so fun and so enjoyable, why does nobody want to watch anybody play it? Uh, 2K needs to keep needs some competition. I mean, you just I don't I don't agree with I don't agree with none of the guy talked about right there. He always dive off the deep end. It is what it is. Dive off the deep end. Just just whatever. I just think this is a patch that they need, that they probably are going to revert. I think that the outcry from the 2K community has been loud enough, and I feel like uh. I feel like this is something that's gonna go back, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. But what like I keep wanting to tell y'all, bro, this is something that I keep saying and I keep saying and I keep saying. Do y'all understand it now? Any this thing is like a the ultimate Jenga tower and it's built up to the ceiling. Anything that they change 
can break the game and render it unplayable. And y'all are seeing that right now. Stop asking for so many changes. Just let it be and do that. And I, I, and I know what y'all gonna say, but is that acceptable for it to be like that? But that's just programming. Nobody is going to go to the bottom and find the needle in the haystack and then unbuild everything, find that needle, pull it out, fix it, and then build it all the way back up. That's just not feasible in programming. They're going to make a change. They're going to tweak something. And when they do that, it can literally change the entire balance of the game. You're seeing it right now. Just let us play the game. They're going to revert this. I'm pretty sure. Let it get reverted. And then let's just play the game as is. And, and just be patient with the other stuff, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I told y'all, even anything that gets changed, it can it can impact the whole game. We seeing it right now. Anyway, man, y'all let me try to think down in the comment section, bro. Like I said, I ain't doing nothing but laughing. But like I said, this can, even though I don't dribble the ball that much, this can impact my point guard's ability to get me open so that I can take my shots. So that's all I'm saying. It, it's going to be tough. For a couple of days, I'm pretty sure they're gonna switch it back and we're gonna be good, man. But I'm gonna holler y'all next time. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video, put adrenaline in your comments, comment, and get registered to win $50 in VC, $50 in cash up, and the next gen console at the end of the month. And I'm gonna holler y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.